let's do this. Grab all the things. So pillows, um, strap for sure, blocks, all the things. <clears throat> Come to a comfortable seat on your mat. <clears throat> nice long neutral spine. You can be in any pose you'd like, but I oh, would recommend um, an easy seat, cross-legged pose, sukhasana. I like to use two pillows actually under my bum, especially in the start of my practice to lift my tush up higher and find a little bit more ease in my knees. So do whatever you need to do to get comfortable in your body and arrive in this space in this moment. Take an inhale and then a big exhale, sigh it all out. <sighs> inhale, big exhale, sigh it all out. <sighs> inhale, big exhale. And I'm just kind of rolling my neck back and forth. And I'm making really this fogging noise on my exhale. Breathing oxygen into the body on the inhale. Letting go of stress and touch and on the exhale. So we're going to move into some Ujjayi style breathing, which is very similar to this opening kind of fogging we're doing. So continue at your own pace. On your next exhale, seal your lips and keep that fogging constriction in your throat. Keep going at your own pace. And as you're able and ready, bring that constriction to the inhale as well as the exhale. And as you bring the constriction into your inhale, Begin to even out the length, tone, and quality of your inhale with your exhale, so that action. As you settle into your ujjayi breath, feel all the part of your sitting bones and your feet where your body is touching the ground or the pillows of the earth beneath you. As you exhale, or I'm sorry, after you exhale, as you inhale, imagine that you're drawing up energy from the ground below you and reach up all the way tall through your spine and send that energy out through the top of your head. So your Ujjayi breath is feeding this tall, beautiful column of strength and balance all the way from your sitting bones up through the crown of your head. Come back to your Ujjayi style breath at any point during the practice when you need to build more heat, focus your energy, and really as you focus to align your movement with your breath.
So let's go ahead and start to get activated. Roll out your wrists. <clears throat> and continue to roll out your wrists and do this. I like to call them sparkle fingers. I don't know. No, that's, I don't know what I call them. But do these little guys. Roll out your wrists both directions, but really start to warm up your hands as you move your pillows off the mat and come into uh, an extended child's pose. So use a bolster on the backs of your calves if you want to take a little bit of pressure off the flexion in your knees, especially as they're starting to get warmed up. So walk your hands forward, plant your hips against your bolster or your heel, and as you come forward, if you can get your elbows onto the ground, bring your hands in prayer position, and low, slowly lower your head, and begin to find a nice, juicy shoulder stretch in the front body. You can drop your head to the ground when you're resting, your forehead or third eye area onto the ground. You can bring a little movement into the arms. We're just getting warmed up, so it's really natural. If you're feeling a little icky or stiff, and this is feeling really good to warm up in the Walk your fingertips forward. Mm. Stretch out the area in your armpits, underneath your armpits. There's so many yummy little muscles in there that are working in our shoulder girdle during all of our hand balances and our vinyasas. <coughs> so now uh, go ahead and grab your strap. And actually, I don't need to adjust it. It just needs to be really nice and long. Two hands on the strap. And just do gentle, oh, 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 oh. I like to call these arm rainbows. So, oh my gosh, my shoulders are so sore. As the strap passes over your head, you can widen your arms to however long. I mean, my arms are literally almost the length of my strap right now because, okay, that's a little bit long. <laughs> because that's how tight my shoulders are. But as they start to warm up, move your hands a little bit closer together, okay? Nothing too drastic, just starting to warm up that shoulder joint. forward, take your right hand and reach it across but your chest and then gently lower the weight of your torso down to bring a stretch into your outer right shoulder. Again, you can drop your head to the ground, forehead touching to mat. You can turn your head in the same direction of your right fingers, whatever feels comfortable for your neck as you open up your shoulder. Press into your left hand. Inhale, place your right hand flat against the mat. Lift your left hand and thread it under your right. Bringing the stretch wider into your left shoulder. Again, you can place your forehead on the mat. Turn your head and place the left side of your head on the mat. So your gaze is looking past your left fingers. Each side of the body is different. And don't judge it. Let it be. Root your right hand. Inhale. One more extended child's pose. Drop your elbows. Hands in prayer position. Bring that mudra to the back heart. So really it's the back of your neck. <laughs> we'll say bring it to the back heart. 
Inhale, lift your head, <clears throat> come onto your hands and knees, remove the bolster if you're using the bolster, and come to gently rest your tush onto your heels. So all you have to do is sit onto your heels and the work will be done. If you want to add a couple more little hand flashes in here while you're doing this, go ahead. But really, root all 10 toes into the ground and as much as you can, send the weight of your torso back over your hips and open up the bottom of your feet. Really, really good to warm up your feet before we start doing a lot of balances, one legged balances. <clears throat> Place your hands on the ground, and then from this little tabletop position, kind of step into Malasana squat. So like all of these other poses, this could be a little bit sticky to get into. So, Gently wiggle your hips down and lower your sitting bones so they become parallel with the earth. Take your elbows and drive your elbows into your knees as well as put some pressure between your fingertips. Start to open up the front pelvis. Malasana, squat pose. Mm. root into your feet to lift up through the pelvic floor and send up energy out through the crown of your head as you were doing when we were beginning and starting with our Ujjayi breath, that same column of power and strength. Inhale, lengthen through all four sides of the waist, gently remove your elbows and sit back onto your tush. <clears throat> Place your hands behind you, fingertips uh, pointing in the same direction as your toes. Your feet are hips distance apart and parallel. Root into your hands and feet. Inhale, suck your belly button to your spine. And as you root into your hand and feet, lift your pelvis up. Mm. Really, really. Nice stretch for the front of the shoulders, the front body, starting to open up and awaken um, our core, our glutes, our hammies. Engage Uddiyana Bandha, suck up in your belly, navel to spine. Mm. Mm. Squeeze your glutes, push your pelvis up a little bit higher, engage your core, and then exhale. Gently lower your touch back to the floor. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> roll or come to a cross legged seat, roll over your feet, come into downward facing dog. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. In downward facing dog, hips are, I'm sorry, <laughs> feet are hips distance apart and parallel. The intention of this pose is a nice, long, beautiful spine not necessarily straight legs. So you can see right now my knees are super bent because my hamstrings are not warmed up and ready to work yet. So as <clears throat> my hamstrings warm up, I am more able to allow my heels to come towards the ground. However, do not lose that line from your tailbone reaching up to the sky all the way down through the crown of your head and out through your fingertips. So get the line in your spine and then try and work your legs just straight, heels stretching towards the ground. Mm. 
Inhale, look towards your hands, bend your knees, knees to ground, wide-legged child's pose. <clears throat> can use a bolster whenever you want to take pressure and flexion off of your knees. Wide-legged child's pose, dig your elbows into the ground, bring your hands into prayer position, and lower your thumbs to the back of your neck, stretching your triceps. Inhale, stretch your arms forward. <clears throat> Push back up into downward facing dog. This time, lift your right leg, bend your knee, and start doing some hip circles. So bring your knee towards your chin, rotate it around. Let's now do that hips in the other direction. <clears throat> Place your right foot back on the ground. Look towards your hands, shift your weight forward, step your right foot forward, root your hands into the ground, grab your box if you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my box. <clears throat> Bring the ground closer. Root into your right foot, straight back leg. And like how we were in downward facing dog, keep that leg straight as you work to straighten your standing leg. So we're coming into standing split on the right leg. Inhale, place your left foot next to your right. Come into a halfway lift, extend out through the crown. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. <clears throat> and this time, raise your left leg. Hmm. Bend your knee <laughs> and do a few hip circles on your right side. <sighs> Switch directions. <sighs> Look towards your hands. Inhale, suck your gut or belly <laughs> in. Place your left hand, grab your blocks, root into your hands and your feet. Inhale, engage through all four sides of your waist as you shift your weight forward and lift your right straight leg towards the sky, eventually bringing your left leg to straight. Inhale, place your right foot next to your left foot. Root into your feet, hands to hips. Bend your knees as you inhale and rise back up to find Tadasana. Awesome. <laughs> um, let me just check these notes. Mm. Okay. Rise up into Tadasana. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees. Be careful with your hamstrings still. Place your hands on the ground or your um, shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step your left foot back about four feet and land on the, uh, <clears throat> and land your heel to the ground. <laughs> the long side of your foot is going to be parallel with the short edge of your mat. We're setting our feet up for warrior two. So our right foot is bisecting the middle part of our left foot. Our right knee stacks over our right ankle, and we rotate this inner thigh down. Engage this thigh as you uh, lengthen your right sitting bone down. Inhale, 
arms out to your side. Gaze gently over your right hand. Inhale, straighten your right leg, point your toes towards the front of your mat, exhale, rotate your left foot, left heel bisects, right foot, exhale, bend your knee, warrior two on the left side. Double check and make sure that your knee isn't either falling in or you aren't rolling it out. Imagine you are in between two panes of glass. <sighs> Inhale, both feet towards the front of your mat, hands to ground. Vinyasa, step your right leg back to meet your left. Exhale all the way to the ground. Untuck your toes. Inhale, shine your heart forward, baby cobra. Exhale, root into your hands. And find downward facing dog. Root your uh, palm fingers really into the ground, super, super strong, and then wrap your biceps in. So root into your index fingers as you wrap your biceps up towards the sky. Lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Inhale, look towards your hands, step towards the front of your mat. Halfway lift, reach out through the crown of your head, lengthen the back of your neck. Exhale, peace fingers, peace finger fingers. <laughs> Grab your big toes, forward fold. Inhale, root your feet into the ground as you lengthen your sitting bones up towards the sky and take your gaze to your belly button. Inhale, release your toe grip. Bend your knees, hands to waist, root into your feet and gently rise up, Urdhva Hastasana, hands over head in your mountain pose. Bring your palms to touch, bend your elbows, and find the tricep stretch that we had in Balasana Child's Pose, but here in Tadasana. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step backwards, four feet with your left foot, rotate your heel to the ground, and spiral your arms up for reverse warrior. So go past warrior two, drop your left hand to the back of your thigh, knee, or calf, and then raise your right arm up towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen up through your fingertips, Pull, work your side waist here. Defy gravity. Exhale, tilt backwards. Bend your knee a little more. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten your right leg and switch to the left side. Exhale into warrior two on the left, and then drop your right hand again, anywhere along the back of your right leg, and gently paint the sky with your fingertips. 
root into your feet to lengthen up through your side body and fingertips and sit lower. Inhale, straighten your leg, rotate your feet towards the front of your mat, hands to ground, then yasa, lower all the way to the ground, inhale, baby cobra, exhale, push into downward facing dog. <sighs> Look towards your hands, step to the front of your mat, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, bend your knees, hands to hips, root your feet as you rise up and bring your right knee with you. Utita hasta parangustasana B. Peace fingers, right hand to right foot. Reset your spine. Find Tadasana. Okay, beautiful. Inhale, lengthen through all four sides of your waist. Exhale, stretch and kick out through your heel. And then take your right hand and foot out to the right. Reconnect with your ujjayi breath. You can bring your gaze over your right hand and foot if you'd like. You don't have to. Whatever you do, keep your drishti, keep your focal point, that soft focused gaze. Exhale, bring your right foot back in front of you. Bend your knee, place your right foot on the ground, exhale, inhale, lift your left foot up, peace fingers with your left hand, grab your left toe, reset, envision Tadasana alignment, inhale, lengthen up through all four sides of the body, exhale, push out through your heel and inner arch, left leg, and open to your left. Root into your standing leg. Don't hyperextend. Engage all the way through all four sides of your feet, your ankle, your calf, your quads, your hammies. Outer hip, inner hip, so strong. Exhale, bring your left foot back in front of you. And place it on the ground. Inhale, arms overhead. Bring your palms together. Exhale, hands to back heart. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just checking my notes here. Okay, here we go. Inhale, Oof. arms overhead still, <laughs> exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale. You know the drill, step your left foot back four feet, pivot your heel to the ground, set your feet up for warrior two. Inhale, reach forward with your right hand. Drop your arm down. So you can go elbow to shin here. You can go hand inside, hand to block, hand to ground. Classic uh, expression, hand outside. I'm going to use the block. Bring your hand overhead. Extended side angle pose. Utita Parsvokonasana. So again, Everything we do when we're in this plane of movement, imagine you're in between two panes of glass. Push your right knee into your right elbow. Suck your booty in. 
Roll this front thigh down. Lengthen your tailbone towards your back foot. Okay, inhale. Lengthen through all four sides of the body. Exhale. <clears throat> How do I do this? Yeah, exhale. Your left hand behind you. So place the back of your hand on your right hip. Inhale, right hand forward. Exhale, right hand under right thigh. Grab left hand. Now's the time to use your strap. <laughs> Okay, so we have grab strap, bound side angle here. Push your right shoulder against your right knee. Pull your right, or I'm sorry, your left shoulder up towards the sky. Inhale, look towards your feet, release the bind. Uh, place your hands on either side of your right foot. Step back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, step your right foot forward. Walk your hands around to the long edge of your mat as well as your toes. We're coming into Prasarita. Well done. <laughs> Help me with this one. Oh, great. I didn't even write that one down. It's like Prasarita Padatanasana. It's wide-legged forward fold, y'all. <laughs> Poise your hands on the ground and hinge forward at the hips, okay? So, again, really beautiful spinal alignment. Nice line from your tailbone all the way out through the crown of your head. And simply take that line and try and make it perpendicular to the ground. So eventually, your hands will come in between your feet. And you'll almost be like uh, sitting up for teddy bear headstand. Your head doesn't actually reach the ground. But you use your hands to... Provide a bit more tension and pressure. Hinge forward at the waist. Inhale. Walk your hands up. Stretch out through the crown of your head. Exhale. Uh, let's see. Twist your left foot towards the short edge of your mat. And rise up. Excuse me. Sweat red. To warrior two. And then set up for extended side angle pose. <clears throat> and then we're going to uh, do the bind, of course, so have your strap nearby. Okay, other side, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen up all four sides of the waist. Extend forward, drop your left hand, and reach your right hand overhead. <sighs> hmm. Sit lower. <laughs> Roll this thigh down like you were in warrior two. Lengthen your left hip back towards your heel. Press your right knee into your left elbow. Extended side angle. Okay, grab your strap. Right arm drops behind your tush. Back of your right hand against your left tush. Inhale, root into your feet. Lengthen all four sides of your waist. As you reach your left arm forward and then gently bring it below your leg, grab the strap and bind. Remember your two panes of glass, so open your chest. Pull your hands further down your back and bring your right shoulder to stack on top of your left and squeeze your left shoulder into your left knee. Inhale, lengthen, look towards your feet, release your bind, root into your feet and push back up to warrior two. Inhale, rotate everything to the front of your mat, hands either side of your foot, step back, move your plops, <clears throat> and lower all the way to the ground. 
Inhale. Oh, shine your heart forward. Beautiful. Exhale. Root into your hands. Push back to downward facing dog. <sighs> Reconnect with that ujjayi breath. <sighs> Look towards your hands, step to the top of your mat, inhale, halfway lift, reach out through the crown of your head, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, step your left foot back. Pivot your left heel to the ground. Come up into warrior two. Now, my bad. <laughs> we are going into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. So you likely will want a block. If not, you're awesome. You're also awesome if you have a block. Inhale. Lengthen up through all four sides of your waist. Pull your floating ribs back into your spine. Broaden out through your collarbones. Tilt forward. Root into your right foot. Take all of this energy in your back leg and your flexion and squeeze your inner thighs. Whew. Drag your left foot forward. Straighten your right leg and tilt. Okay. Grab your block. Balance up. <laughs> Find your drishti. Balance up. Half moon. Half moon is a one-legged balance. So theoretically... Your right hand is not touching. However, in order to hold it, exhale, lower your hands to the ground and your left leg. Root into your feet, hands to hips. Rise up to dasana, shake side to side. Anyways, in order to hold the pose for five breaths, which is really where you want to be uh, in terms of, like, you've got this. You can hold the pose for five calm breaths. Anyways, in order to do that, sometimes um, it's better to use a block and a prop in order to accomplish the spirit of the pose and train and educate your body. Oh, my gosh, I'm sweaty. All right. Let's keep going, other side, and a couple more times. So, I'll actually do it in this direction. <clears throat> uh, we are at the top of our mat. Step your right leg back, four feet. Pivot your right heel to the ground. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Root strongly into your left leg. Inhale, suck your belly button into your spine, arms extend, reach forward, squeeze your inner legs, drag your right foot, whoop, <laughs> and tilt into half moon. Exhale, two hands, and right leg to ground. Root into your feet, hands to hips. Rise up. Whew. Hands overhead, palms to touch. Bend your elbows. Find your back heart. Inhale, arms overhead. Step your left foot back, four feet, pivot left heel to ground. Okay, so... You can use your strap here if you'd like. Um, we're going to do 
foot. Ardha Chapasan Chandrasana. No, Ardha Chandra Chapasana. Sugar plane in the midnight. So you might want to grab a strap. Um, go ahead and grab a strap. It's fine. Okay, grab a strap. In your left hand, warrior two. Pull your front ribs in towards your front spine as you widen your collarbones. Inhale, bring all that energy up through all four sides of your waist and your finger lift, pull, <laughs> pull your left leg in, find half moon. Definitely use a block, okay? I'm going to come up to the highest height setting. I'm going to focus. Is what I'm going to do. Highest height setting. Great. Bend your left knee. Loop your strap around your ankle. Bend your right knee. Root into your right hand and foot. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Kick your left foot into your left hand. You can use the strap. If you can reach, reach. If this is awesome, bring less weight into your right hand. Okay? Balance pose, remember? Holy shit, that was way more than five breaths. Hands to ground, left leg to ground. Root in the feet, hands to hip. Rise slowly and gracefully up to Arva Hastasana, hands together, hands to back heart, inhale with gratitude, exhale, Tadasana, other side, <clears throat> switch your prop sides, we're doing it y'all, okay, um, this one, Didn't go down there, okay, inhale, Arms overhead, exhale, forward fold. Step your right foot back, pivot your right heel to the ground. Grab your strap in your right hand on your way up to warrior two. Root into your feet to stretch out through your fingertips and the crown of your head. Tilt forward, use your block, highest setting. Oops, come into half moon. Bend your right knee, bend your left foot. Hmm. Actually, I'm not going to use the strap this time. I showed the strap last time. Use the strap if you need. Grab your ankle, both legs bent. Inhale, open chest, exhale. Straighten your left leg as you kick your right leg into your right hand. When you are ready, Remove the block. <laughs> Be really careful. Always come out when you need to. But try and come back in. So you can practice gracefully and safely. Safely, it's most important. Getting out of the pose. Exhale, step your foot towards the front of your mat, forward fold, bend your knees, hands to hip, rise up strongly and gently, arms overhead, palms touch, hands to back heart, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, step your left leg back. Grab your strap with your right, no, left hand, okay? Warrior two, reach forward to extended side angle. Bring your elbow or your, what is this thing called? Forearm, bring your forearm to your knee. Drop your left hand below, I'm sorry, Gently place the back of your left hand on your right uh, hip, okay? Grab the strap. <laughs> Come on.
come home. Obviously, we should have been more prepared for this. Okay, we have the bind. Drishti, gaze on your front foot, focus. Pull your belly button to your spine. Now, wiggle your left foot forward. Right? Pretend like you're coming up into half moon. Move your gaze forward about two feet. Find a new drishti. And looks like I'm going to have to go full bind on this bad boy. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, forward fold. <sighs> Safely rise up. Hands over head. Ooh, touch your back heart. Inhale. Forward fold. Step your right foot back into a warrior foot. Set up. Grab your strap with your right hand. Warrior two, reach forward, forearm to left knee, drop your right arm, back of your right hand to your left hip. Reach your left hand underneath and grab your strap. Wiggle your right foot forward until you can come up whew, onto the ball of your right toe and with Whew. Grace and safety. <laughs> Forward fold, root into your feet, hands to hips, rise up. Mm, to Tadasana. Reconnect with your breath. <sighs> Just take a moment to shine in your awesome because it's hard to bounce on one foot. And it's pretty hard to stare at the ground 100% positive that you are going to face plant. And you did it anyways. And that metaphor for overcoming fear and failure is gonna take you through every moment in your life. And just remember your ojai breath, your drishti, right? Breathe, gently focus, and push your body and your breath in the movement. Man, I fucking love yoga. Okay. Let's bring this bitch to an end, huh? Okay. So just gently bring yourself down to the ground. Oh, come to um, like a hero's pose, but don't stop there. Place your right foot on the ground, okay? So uh, deep flexion in the left leg, right foot on the ground, deep flexion in this right leg too. Place your hands behind you like reverse tabletop. Belly button to spine and lift your hips. So this is oh, a really gentle, nice front body opener. Lower your hips. Walk your hands back forward. Bring your right knee to the ground and your left foot to the ground. So your right shin is on the ground. Your uh, deflection right knee, left foot's on the ground, deflection left knee. Put your hands behind you like a reverse tabletop. Inhale, root your right shin and your left foot into the ground and evenly bring your hips up. So don't, don't wobble. Evenly bring your hips up. Really nice front body stretch. Walk your hands forward. <clears throat> and then just kind of wiggle over onto your left. So I've heard some people call this deer pose. Both of your knees are in flexion. Both of your ankles are in flexion. 
we're going to do it's pigeon basically but it's without the back hip flexor stretch so sit over your left thigh bring some straightness to your right leg as a means of just adjusting your torso weight right so again it's not about stretching that hip flexor it's about stretching the outer thigh grab a block or a pillow rest your big old head oh gosh and start to let go start to let your bones feel like they're just sinking and melting into the floor that your breath is coming back into a normal inhale and exhale you don't really need a dry breath in this integration portion of our practice inhale push into your hands come back up and switch your legs find this pose on your right side so right shin is parallel with the short edge of the front of your mat left shin is parallel with the long edge of your mat walk your body weight from your chest and your torso forward and bring it across your right outer thigh get an awesome stretch in there prop up your big old head and let well start to let tension go in your neck and your hip Ooh. either blow like or like a turkey gobble but usually when we release tension from our hips we find ourselves um, finding tension in our jaw so like clenching our jaw tightening our jaw tightening our face muscles so it's always good to just remember to open your jaw wiggle it around a little bit while you're doing this hip opening okay <clears throat> bring your left foot around in front of you place your heels together and then gently lower your torso forward so the stretch is going to feel a little bit different depending on whether your feet are further away from your body or closer into your body i'm pretty sure classical expression is closer into your body um so for me um and most people you're gonna feel it when it's closer into your body and your hip flexors and your lower back as you bring your feet out you will feel it less in your hip flexors bleh, flexors more in your outer hips but still in your low back so find the variation that hits your sweet spot <sighs> Okay, come into a recline position. Oh. So go ahead and find Eagle Pose, Iridasana, in this uh, supine laying down position. So right knee over left knee, and then left arm over right arm. You don't have to bring the back of your hands to touch, just hug your shoulders. This is really meant to be um, passive. Then gently oh, drop your hips to the left. And then find a stretch in the outer right hip as you stretch your shoulders. Inhale, engage your core, bring your legs back up, switch legs, switch arms. Oh, and gently lower your right legs. I'm sorry, your legs. Oh, to the right. Finding that sweet spot to release any tension in your lower back. As you bring a gentle stretch into your shoulders. Inhale, engage your core to protect your back as you come back up to center. And go ahead and take any final little stretch or pose or posture oh, that you need to feel in your body so that you can completely let go when we get into Savasana, okay? Oh, my goodness sakes. Mm. 
So please get as comfortable as you possibly can. We just worked so, so hard and you deserve and need, want to fully absorb the benefits of your practice. So bolster under your knees, blocks under your thighs, pillow under your head, blanket to cover up, cool washcloth to cover your eyes, whatever you like. This is the time to just let go. We've done so much work with balance and strengthening and flexibility today. It was a complete and total whole body workout, lots of left and right and uh, brain activation as we were activating our bodies. So just let it all go. Feel your bones sink towards the floor. No need to focus on breath. No need to focus on anything. Certainly don't think about what you're going to be doing in 10 minutes from now. If anything, focus on your body and anywhere you can continue to soften, you can continue to let go of attention. You have a little bit more time to stay in this position and continue to integrate and absorb all the awesomeness that you just did for your whole body, mind, and heart. Please go ahead and do that. Otherwise, find your way into the fetal position on one of their sides and take two or three cycles of breath before you make your way 
into a seated position. Got like traffic jam with my props. <laughs> Find your way to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands to heart central and Anjali Mudra, gently touching fingertips, thumbs in front of sternum. Wow, you showed up for you today. We worked super hard. That was a really challenging practice that strengthened our bodies, um, stretched us out and challenged our mind to come overcome um, what we perceive as falling flat on our face. So as you move through the rest of your day, remember that you have looked over that cliff and you have had the courage and the uh, amazing spirit and braveness to make it through this practice. And that's going to help you make it through the day. Just remember that super duper hard half moon was bind stuff. Right? Okay. Anyways, you got this. Thank you for spending this time with me today. Gently bow your head. Say namaste. Mm -hmm.